welcome to another video on the Enchanted Basin. If you're new here, hi, I'm Jenny. It is very nice to meet you. I like to do videos that are Halloween or witchy oriented, vegan taste test, craft with me videos, and chronic illness awareness chat. Shout out to all my fellow spooky spoonies. Hope you can't hear. I'm outside because it's a beautiful day. My neighbor and her kiddos are outside too playing. They're having a good time. So hopefully it's not too loud for you guys. I'll try and see what I can do editing wise to make sure. I'm um, also probably interspay some like classical music. There's a lot of bugs and birds and everything. Having a good old time which is great but hopefully it won't annoy you guys too much. Anyway the reason why we're here today I wanted to do an unboxing of a uh, some items I ordered from the Sojourner. So if you guys watched my recent video where I reviewed the Pinnacle Path witchcraft book I love by my friend Hair and Michelle. She's she's getting ready to do a series of classes for it. It'll be about a year and a half long. We, she has both an online and an in-person option. Um, I'm probably gonna be doing majority online, but I do hope to go in person for maybe at least some of the actual retreats. She's doing like weekend retreats. But there's also stuff online. Um, even if you do in person, you get the online uh, access to all the online stuff too. So there's a whole online student portal where for each section, so for each of the elements, and then there's also the initial dedication portion. I'm getting ready for that. It, it was actually going to be uploading this video on the 7th, but 7th is when the class started. So I wanted to make sure and get this out before that for you guys. So if you're interested or you're still not sure if you want to do it, she does have the first seven videos on the first seven chapters of the book. Um, she goes through them and has those recorded on her YouTube channel. They will only be up there until the 6th. After that, they will go to the student portal exclusively for the students. I think she will be keeping the first two chapters available for anyone to see, but everything else um, will be for the students of the class. And if you pay to be in the class, you do get access, access to those videos for, for life. So as long as they're on the website, you will have access to them, which I think is really awesome, especially like some of the med different meditations she's gonna be recording and that kind of thing. I think it's gonna be awesome to have access to that after the fact. So definitely check those out if you're interested. Um, also, you can go ahead and sign up for the online portion if you want to. I think uh, registration for the in-person is already closed because they needed to know how many they were doing, but the online portion, um, you can register anytime. So I'll leave the link in the description if you want to get more information about the costs and the different options with that. So the first section is the dedication section, like I said, and I have, I think, everything I need so far for the dedication, like the different herbs and crystals and the candles to do my dedication candle, but um, like literally a month after it is when we start our earth section, and so I wanted to go ahead and get some of the stuff for that so I can be ready for it. I will say, if you have like a local witchcraft or metaphysical store, please support them. Definitely do that. I have one near me, but she doesn't really have an apothecary or anything. It's mostly like books and I think some incense, which is awesome. I mean, she's a small store. She's just starting out. So I, since I don't have any other option, I really wanted to support Sojo. You guys can too. They ship, I know at least all of the continental US. I'm not sure about anything outside of that. So definitely check them out if you're needing any supplies, whether you're doing the classes or not. They have a huge range of like books and that kind of thing you can get. Also any sort of altar supplies, um, a whole apothecary cabinet. One of her managers there, Courtney, takes care of all the herb cabinet, well, herb wall, let's say, and she's super really knowledgeable about it and tries to make sure they get really good quality stuff. So definitely check that out, even if you're just needing supplies. But I wanted to buy some supplies specifically for the earth section so I can go ahead and get ready for that. I thought I would share this with you guys in case any of you are also getting ready for it, um, whether it's earth or the dedication. I just wanted to give you an idea of the kind of stuff that they carry. So you take everything out, I gotta... Okay, let me just say this. I love this. For packaging, like cushion, this is what they use. This stuff is recyclable. Like there's no bubble wrap. It's this, they're so, so mindful about what kind of packaging they use. And I really, really appreciate that. So thank you, Courtney. I'm sure this was mostly you and Heron. I appreciate what you guys do to be very environmentally mindful. I will say also, if you are, say you're starting out and you don't have a whole lot for, whether it's altar supplies or um, like herb cabinet, they do have boxes for each of the sections. So they have a dedication box with everything you need. They'll have a box for earth, for air, fire, water, and then spirit. And it will have 
all of the crystals, all of the incense, all the herbs you'll need for it. And then it also has different altar supplies. Like I believe the earth one comes with a little Morgan pestle, which I think is so freaking cute. So if you're someone, <laughs> they're having a good time. So if you're someone who doesn't have a lot of supplies yet and you're also in need, that's actually a really, really financially smart way to do it because you save a time when you buy the box versus getting all those items individually. Um, for me, I already have a good bit of those, so I just needed some specific items. So first, uh, incense I got. This is the Earth Incense. I have never had this brand, but I know they really, really love it, and I trust um, their judgment when it comes to incense because they always care really, really good quality stuff. Wait, seriously? There, so there's 26 in here. It says 60 plus minutes? Each stick burns for an hour? Well, that's amazing. I know a lot of times if they're resin, those will burn very, very slowly. Kind of looks like a resin. Interesting. I don't know what scent. Let me see what's in it. Oh, there's patchouli. Of course there is because, you know, it's earth. That makes sense. But I'm happy about that because I love... Oh, that's right. Patchouli is one of the herbs we need for earth. And I remember I already have some from my witch's roots box. Oh, I'm super excited. I can't wait to burn this. Oh, that is delightful. Okay. All right. I got this. You can get this on Amazon, but it's actually cheaper from their shop even, I think. And then you're supporting a local business. The witch's date book. I got this for all next year so I can go ahead and kind of plan out stuff. Um, Cause Heron is very good when it comes to planning out stuff ahead of time and lets you know when we're gonna have different rituals. Um, I also thought it for class. I, if you've never gotten this book before, I love because like each date they'll tell you what the moon phase is, what zodiac we're in, when it's entering it, uh, the color associated with that day and those particular planets and all of that. So I think this kind of thing is really, really helpful, especially if you're for ritual. I thought this was awesome. I haven't had one of these in a couple of years. I used to get them every single year. I just haven't in a while. And I was like, you know what? This makes a whole lot of sense to have this for this class. Again, look at the packaging. So it's in glass bottle, this cork. They put a label on it for you. They tell you what elements associated with what planet. I love this. So I needed elm for um, the earth. Cool. And like, again, glass bottles. So these are totally reusable. I love the attention to detail when it comes to packaging and just how mindful they are. So this is cool. And again, like the, they pre-package it for you. So that's why a lot of times if you go to a pop carry shop, they'll put in like little plastic bags, which I know a lot of the witch's root stuff is. I'm transferring all of that now. I'm in the process of transferring it all to like little glass bottles. I love that this is in a bottle right here. They said, honestly, by the end of the year, if you do all of them, when you get each of the boxes, you'll have enough of the herbs and a lot of the stones to have like, especially the herbs, to have like your own little apothecary cabinet. And so when she gets to her next book, I know Heron's talking about she's gonna do a lunar magic book next, which I'm so very excited for. Um, she said she's gonna try and like overlap some of the herbs. So if you got, get them this time, then maybe for the next book, you'll already have a lot of the herbs. You won't need to buy them again. I thought that was very smart. For doing each of the candles for each element, we put like little chips in there from you know different stones to get the energies of that particular element into the candle. So I got some green adventuring ones right here. So this is $3, it's not bad. And honestly, I think it's really, I've at least personally I found it really hard to find little chips. I would not trust buying it on Amazon or something. Who knows where some of that comes from? That's why I prefer getting it, especially from the Sojourner or at least from a local shop. You know, especially if you can ask kind of where they source some of their stuff for it. You make sure it's actually that stone and it's not somebody just trying to like give you green glass chips making you think it's adventuring. <laughs> make sure it's legit. So that's helpful. I also got a wrap for my earth candle. So it's got the element, it's got some artwork and Heron does all of this artwork herself. I think it's so, so amazing. And then she makes it into like little stickers and you can wrap these around your candles. So I already have my dedication one on there. Um, but like I said, I was trying to go ahead and get everything prepared. So for next month, when it comes to earth, I will already have it done. And then I did buy a poster. Um, she talked about this in one of her recent videos. I think it was the chapter six video. Every year, or at least every year that, that I've known her, she pretty much does a, <laughs> sorry, I'm trying to open this poster board. She does a 
great or a wheel of the year. She maps out all the moon phases, all the sabbats, um, the zodiacs that they're going to be in. Oh my gosh, how do I get this out? And then this year, what I loved especially, oh my gosh, especially as someone who really appreciates charts. So here's the artwork. This is just honestly so incredibly gorgeous. And I just, I love a detailed, like it's artwork, but it's also extremely useful chart artwork. And then on the back, hoo -hoo, which element we're working on, uh, their mystery teaching, the astrological beginning, um, calendar day beginning, astrological ending, calendar date ending, and then it goes into the different moons for each of those elements and that time period. I think this is really, really helpful when it comes to planning out your rituals. So like for our earth section, the, you know, moon enters Capricorn Friday, December 23rd, exact dark at 5.17 a.m. Best observed, three hours and 32 minutes between. So the fact that she, she goes through this for the whole year and like, I can really, really appreciate the work that it is to do all that. Cause I know that is not quick stuff. Even for, you know, someone as extremely experienced as Heron is, I still know there's a lot of work that goes into looking all this information up and gathering it and then putting it into a chart and that kind of thing for us. So I can really appreciate, you know, her seriously going through each and every moon <laughs> that we're gonna have for each of the different elemental sections. So this is really, really awesome. You can also see down here at the bottom, she's gone through and notated. This is um, the sun actually. So she has all of you know the lunar cycle, but she also has the sun, Sabbaths, solstices, and the zodiacs, you know, when they start. And like, I love how she talks about, this. so for each of the seasons, um, what zodiac we're in, and then whether it's cardinal, fixed, or mutable. I think that's really important. If you ever never really looked into that, look into that. Honestly, it tells you a lot about a person. I would say, especially chapter six. If you haven't watched chapter six yet, there was some stuff in chapter six video that kind of blew my mind a little bit. It was amazing. So she was talking about the different elements and how they are associated with uh, feminine and masculine energy and so it was like fires on the extreme end of masculine water is more on the extreme end of feminine and then you have earth and air that are kind of a bit like almost mutable like they have like earth is more on the feminine end but it can also have masculine pulls and air you know more on the masculine end but it can also have feminine pulls so I just think it's really interesting and I like to think it's like I am an earth baby like Virgo and so it's interesting because I do think of myself to tend to be a little bit more <laughs> on the aggressive side. You guys would never know this about me, but like just personality wise, I can very much be a little like, I'm very strong willed, a little stubborn in that end. Um, I do also have the very like soft, but strong feminine touches to me. I think like nurturing, I am very much an empath as well. I get that coming from it, but it was just interesting seeing that chart and how I could personally resonate with what that was saying based on just the elements and the person's zodiac sign and their element connecting to that as well. I feel like none of that just made sense and I just kind of rambled on, but it made sense to me and I, I found it to be like a really interesting revelation after watching that video. So. I, don't know, I hope it is for you too. I will link that one specifically below. Definitely watch this before Friday. So watch it by Thursday, which would be the 6th of October. Make sure and watch it by then if you're interested. Um, otherwise, you definitely want to join the class and then you can watch it whenever you like. So I hope some of you guys are doing the, the class. I would really love to have you join me. I'm, I'm really excited to go through it. Heron is an excellent teacher. Um, it's definitely going to be interesting doing it online versus when I initially trained with her many moons ago, you know, it was in person. So this will be interesting, but I think it's going to be really, really good. I'm excited. I mean, I love the book. Again, if you haven't read that or you're interested to get more information about it, I'll leave my review link below. I'll also leave a link to the book below. Definitely check that out. It's it's a, it's good, man, y'all. I gotta say, like, I'm 
still every time I keep reading it more and more into it I'm beyond impressed with the effort that goes into it and how comprehensive it is I can't say enough good things about it okay <laughs> so sorry this was kind of a, a rambly video um, but I just wanted to share not only the haul but some stuff about the class and maybe my experience with it so far and I think it's gonna be really really fun like I said so I hope you guys join me I am hoping to do a bit of like a book club kind of setting I got to figure out how I want to do that so I would love for us to discuss um, the book as well and get some of your thoughts on it how you guys are feeling with it um, and what, what you're thinking and what your experience has been especially on some of the meditations y'all the meditations are my jam I love it anyway I'm going to stop rambling now and <laughs> let you guys go thank you so much for watching I really do hope you enjoyed it if you did please give me a big old thumbs up. Also, if you aren't already, please do consider subscribing to the channel and make sure you hit the bell while you're right down there. I do post videos at least two times a week, but since it's vlogging, I'm aiming to do about four times a week, so definitely don't wanna miss out. I do also have a Patreon if you guys are interested in supporting the channel further. I will leave a link in the description so you can go check out the different tiers, see what you get for each tier. Um, the biggest thing I think is for uh, all Patreons, no matter the tier, you do get videos ahead of time and they're ad free. So if you're wanting to watch something just straight through, not have to deal with ads, being a Patreon, even on the, the lowest tier, um, you do get those ahead of time. And there's also other goodies as well, but I know that's what a lot of people care about. <laughs> So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Again, I really do appreciate all your love and support. I hope you're doing wonderful and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.